from the makers of Hunter Killer Mystery Box comes a terrifying new experience that will fill your horror appetites. It's that time of the year again where we celebrate all things spooky and creepy. Yes, my friends, Halloween is coming. We've got something special for you. What's up, everybody? This is Marion from Geek Culture, and today we have something very special for you this Halloween season. What I have in my hands is the Blair Witch by the folks at Hunt the Killer. Now, for those of you who don't know Hunt the Killer, which is these folks over here, uh, these are the guys that make subscription-based mystery boxes that are not exactly like loot boxes where you just buy and uh, get just random cool loot for you to just decorate your house with or anything. This is an interactive story-based mystery box. These boxes uh, come in episodes or series of six where you have to unravel a mystery of a murder. And what they've done is bring you an interactive story where you don't just sit back and watch and hide behind your pillow, where you actually unravel the horrors of the story that unfolds right in this box. So let's just get to it, shall we? And let's open it up. Okay, so what we have here is a like a welcome kind of uh, notice uh, tells you to dedicate a space to play in your house because there is a lot of parts here you gotta take notes uh, it's always good to have a phone or uh, an actual notebook by your side because that there, there will be a bunch of clues for you to interact with and kind of try to decipher but you can't do it uh, just by looking at the material on hand of course if you're like me you know you can just use your eye power and you can solve it but let's face it not everybody's like me so <laughs> all right so what happens is you subscribe to this particular storyline and you essentially follow it uh, on a monthly basis I send you one box every month and uh, over the course of six months or six episodes in total you will be able to unravel the mystery right in this box anyway I'm rambling so let's just continue unboxing shall we so Yep, we have this. We have an inventory of 10 items. So we have, uh, I'll just list them out right here. Uh, and yes, there's a QR code in case you're having a little bit of trouble. You can just scan your QR code with your phone. Uh, it will show you basically all the hints that you can use to solve the mystery if you're having a little bit of trouble. But of course, uh, this is only locked to just one episode. So it won't show you the clues for the other episodes. There's a separate QR code for that. Okay. So we have a charm, a bracelet here. That's one of the clues that you will use to solve the mystery. Okay. So it's a, yeah, it looks like a little tooth, right? No, don't put this in your mouth. Uh, if you want to, yeah, sure, if you want a silver tooth, you can do that, but I would probably wouldn't advise it. We have a pen. This is a special pen. It's called a UV pen. So what it does, it, it shines a UV light. Let me just show it against this. Shines a small UV light, you can, uh, yeah, it's a little bit small. Probably won't be able to see it here, but yeah. This will help you unravel clues that are found in certain uh, items in the box itself. I won't tell you what it is. Oh, by the way, uh, before I continue, yeah. So, because everything in this box uh, will be spoilers from here on out, we can't exactly show you what's inside each and every component, but we'll tell you just what uh, you can expect, right? I mean, if you watch a lot of detective movies, uh, you, yeah, you've noticed this kind of looks like a, like a case file you would see in the DA's office or whatever. So yeah, it's a little bit of, uh, it's a nice little touch there by Hunter Killer. They've always done this consistently for all their boxes, so that's nice. Let me just tell you a little bit more about this story. So there was a boy who went missing after the death of his father who died in a freak accident. And our job as the investigator is to find out the whereabouts of this boy. So this is one object, one part of the mystery itself. This is a gazette, which tells you what you need to find. Uh, what you need to know is basically an overview of the events that happened uh, in this, uh, to this particular boy in this particular area, right? So you got to read this to give yourself a bit of context. There is a newspaper cutting, which gives you a little bit more context. What Hunter Killer has done here is that they have, they don't waste a single ounce of paper on this uh, on their material so you can flip it uh, either which way uh, it will give you probably a clue a visual clue or a written clue uh, to give yourself a boost in this mystery right so newspaper cutting so this is a notebook 
of the boy Liam Kent. He is the boy that went missing in this story. Uh, it's the boy that you need to find here. So let me just flip through here. Yep, there's written notes here. Um, actually, and you have to actually find out what the boy wrote. Um, and if you notice, there is a bunch of stuff here. It looks like it's incomplete, right? Uh, but nope, there's a reason why we have the UV pen right here. Okay, so what you do is you just yep, shine a light and it will show you some hidden messages that you need to decrypt. Okay, um, of course, you can while well, you can use this, if you're feeling like you're, uh, you, know, you want to rush a little bit or the light is a bit too small for you, you can always get your own UV light sold separately. So this will show you a little bit more about what you can see. So I'm, let me just hold it up to the camera here. Yep, stuff like that. So the cool thing about Hunt the Killer is that they actually encourage you to examine the articles, uh, each uh, item in whatever way you want. You can hold it up against the light, you can hold it up against the sun, you can scratch on it, you can... If you want to tear it up, go ahead, but if you... Yeah, that's, that's, that's a new if you lose it. But yeah, anyway, notebook. We have a map of this place called, the, the town called Burkittsville. Uh, obviously it's a made up town. Actually, correct me if, if I'm wrong, but yeah. So there's a key here, show you, there's a legend here showing you what's uh, in the town itself. Um, yeah, so if you've watched the likes of Blair Witch Project, then it probably Omen or Exorcist. This setting might look a little familiar to you, yep. So you have a missing persons report from the local uh, sheriff, uh, the local authorities, and this will give you a rundown of what happened here. So a, a little bit more context here. Um, again, I'm not going to tell you what exactly uh, has been happening here. You got to uh, examine it yourself. But yeah, missing persons report, really, really handy. And here we have the incident report from the school which the boy studied in, just for context. This is an interview transcript from the sheriff's office. So, yeah, more evidence, uh, more clues that you can use to decipher the whereabouts of the young boy, Liam Kent. So over here, we have a letter from Rosemary Kent. She's the mother of the boy, Liam. Um, and this particular clue here is not just for you to use to decipher the mystery. It actually is uh, the instructions for you to go and uh, input your answer, your final answer. So there's letters in bold here. I don't know if you can see this, but yeah, it's to tell you uh, there's actually a special website which you need to key in on your phone or your computer. And there will be a special password that you need to key in as well. And from there, you need to input your answer. And that's how you hopefully will solve the mystery. So if you get it right, they'll send you an email telling you you're correct and the steps that you need to continue to move on forward. If you're wrong, they'll tell you to try again. No worry, there's no, there's no penalty for getting anything wrong, uh, which is the cool thing about this, uh, this box right here. So it gives you unlimited chances to go and try. This is the comp These are the components of an episode of Blair Witch Project. Um, and we've played it ourselves. We've taken about uh, an hour and a half to two hours. That's probably about the average time it takes to complete an episode, which is just about uh, you know, the same amount of time you take to complete uh, a movie. So yeah, just treat this as the first of a six part limited series on Netflix. So if you're not in the mood for passive entertainment, you want to make it, you want to engage yourself a little bit more, or you can find it on the website at huntthekiller.com where you can find Blair Witch Project and all their other crazy stories that you can unravel. All right, so that's all you need to know about Blair Witch Project. This is, like I said, the first part of a limited series. So if you want to find out more about the boy and everything else happening in this town, all you got to do is subscribe. Speaking of subscribing, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And don't forget to smash that bell icon for more geeky news and tidbits. Until then, this is Marion from Geek Culture, signing off.